Hello, better known to one here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Final Fantasy X Remastered. In the previous episode, we got through the rest of the Snoobia Desert here on Picanel Island, and home is under attack. This is Riku's home, or the home of the Albed, I guess. Why did they decide to make a home here? Well, I guess they figured most people wouldn't want to come to a desert anyways. So it'd be secretive enough. Yuna, where are you? It kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh-oh. But yeah, the Guado are fucking absolutely batshit insane. They're going around attacking everybody, basically. Yeah. Uh. What are you? Yeah, I probably just want to kill you right away. Get rid of those damn Guado. More bo okay, bomb cores. Use those, those are pretty good. Um, yeah, Lulu. Let's end this. Ah, uh, sluts. Speaking of which, do I have bomb cores yet? Oh no. Oh, that's new. I okay, yeah. It does more dam does more fire damage to an enemy. So yeah, they're better than bomb fragments. They're more powerful. So uh, yeah, the game doesn't really tell you that. It just says deal fire damage to the enemy, but it doesn't really doesn't really give you that much information about the uh, the items for that. <coughs> but that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> what in Yevon's name are those grotto thinking? They're crazy. This is terrible. Anyways, at this point, yeah, we could leave or we could just go this way. Yeah, we got dual horns. Uh, I don't know if they carry anything better this time. They might. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna guard, actually. Oh, jerk. Yeah, okay, it's the same crap that they carried before, basically. Ugh. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you were gonna die for that. Oh, 
Oh, they got more HP this time around, huh? Okay. Not much more HP, but they got more. Ah. Uh, oh, it wasn't enough to get it up all the way. Oh well. Farewell. Let's find Yuna, quick. Over here. Uh, yeah. Before we go over here, we want to go back. Or wait, no, we want to. Go this way, wait for the fucking camera to switch to this view right here, and then we go back. I don't know why we gotta do that, just to do that, but that's just the way they designed this area. Eh. Agility. But anyways, uh, if we go back this way, there's a door here that's kind of lit up green, and we can actually go inside. No, not that way. But yeah, there's monsters in here, but there's also treasures, so totally worth it. for more defense. Yay for more accuracy. And yay for more strength. Alright. Uh, but anyways, over here we can get Albed Primer Volume 20. So we only have six more to find, two more in this area. The treasure chest of Dream asks, what do I contain? So uh, right here we can basically choose what treasure we want. Bomb I think is an enemy, elixir, high potion, mega potion, soft. None of these are really that great as far as treasure. I guess the elixir is probably the most valuable. So I, I would probably just go for that. Enter the password in proper L bed. Sorry. So we should be able to figure out which one is sorry. I think it's this one, right? And we have wait, which is... Where is that? I don't see wait anywhere. Oh, it must be this one. And pardon, which uh, I guess. Wait, no, it can't be that one. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. And we get a friend sphere. Now, basically, how a friend sphere works is, uh, let's say, Orin is right here. Okay. Well, if I want a different character to be at the exact same spot that that character is on the sphere grid. I can use a friend sphere to move the character over to like, like if I want to move Waka over to where Orin is, I can do that. And that's basically how a friend sphere works. As far as customization, okay, yeah, choco feathers are used for that. What are friend spheres used for? Counter attack. Okay, teleport spheres, evading counter. Yeah, all right, magic booster. Double AP. Alright. So yeah, pretty much every item, if you're not going to use them, I mean, they can be used for customizing your weapons and teaching abilities to your Aeons and, you know, stuff like that. Oh, 
On an Owen Kant! On an Owen Kant! Oh, okay, I think we got some new enemies this time here. Yeah, Chimeras. So, let's slow on them. There we go. And, uh... Yeah, I probably won't be able to overkill the Guado, but yeah, I'm gonna take care of him. Goodbye. What can we steal from these guys? Lightning gems? Arctic winds? Okay, we can steal a good amount of them. Looks like. So that's good. Not weak to anything in halves, fire, and water. Darkness and silence work well. Vulnerable to threaten. Uh huh. Okay. Darkness and silence, huh? There you go. How's that? Let's end this. Nah, actually, let's focus. I want to make sure to overkill these fucking things. Focus and cheer. There we go. Oh yeah, Megiddo Flame. They can still do that. Which kind of stinks. But, whatever. Yeah, there we go. Uh... Which HPD? Fuck. No, I'll hit him a couple times, just to make sure to get his HP down a little bit. So I wanna... Yeah, I wanna try and finish him off with a fucking, uh... Fucking overkill, if I can here. Well... I want to finish him off with a fucking overdrive, that way I can still, uh, continue to work towards getting energy rain. Not worth a level 2 lock for these. At least not at this point. Hey, magic upgrade. I like it. Definitely like magic upgrades. I'm an annoying cunt! I'm an annoying cunt! <laughs> Wow, that's retarded. Uh, wait a minute. Anything at the end of this hole? Chest. This way we can find though. I think. Yeah, alright, there's Albert Primer over here. Volume 21, yeah. So that's uh 
two out of three, I think, right? Or no? That might actually be the last no, one in this, in this place. Yeah, I gotta fight more of these chimeras. First digit is four plus one, okay, that's five. Second digit is seven minus one. All right, so that would be six. The third digit is three times one, which is three, and the fourth digit is two plus one, which is three. Yay, really easy. All right, we get a special sphere. So any special ability that we have uh, with one character we can teach to another with that sphere, so that's pretty good. And uh, are you Albed? Um, yes. Name the son of the Albed leader, that would be Sid. Wouldn't it? Oh, the son. Oops. The brother. I was thinking they were asking the actual leader and not the son of the leader. On that island do the Al with on what island do the Albed live? That would be uh Bicanel Island, right? And uh what is Albed and Albed? That would be that first choice. Yay! We get a skill spear. So yeah, there's some pretty good stuff here in the Albed home. Yeah, at this point, I know I didn't mention that before, and you can probably see that anyways. Uh, at this point in the story, we can't actually play bl Blitzball for whatever reason. I don't know, probably because we're traitors or something like that. I don't know. Alright, at this point, make sure you have all the items. I'm pretty sure I got everything at this point, so let's continue. So yeah, once you go through this door, you won't be able to uh, go back, as you can see. An annoying cunt! An annoying cunt! Somebody tell that guy to shut the fuck up. This place done for. You're right. You're right, Waka. We all bed. We... We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island. Where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered. To every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the Albed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again. But now, why did things have to turn out this way? We could. Damn those Guado. What are they thinking? Yeah, we're gonna have to fight more Chimeras again. What is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnapped them? I mean, if the Summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But Guardians are there for that. If Guardians do their job well, Summoners will be safe. Right? 
Quiet. Kimari goes now. Yeah, he's a little clueless. He's out of the loop right now. But, uh, yeah, there's a chest over here. You get a level 4 key sphere. Alright. And a level 2 key sphere. But no elusive level 3 ones yet. Yeah, level 3 ones are, in my opinion, probably some of the more valuable ones because. Uh, that unlocks a lot of the areas, uh, well, like if you want to go from one character's default path to another character's, and like the end of theirs, and start working on, on the other one, the level threes lock a lot of those, so the only way to get to those areas would be to use, like, teleport spheres or, or friend spheres, but, um, level four locks typically are blocking, like, some of the better abilities in the game, like the Ultima spell and, you know, shit like that. She's not here. Well, that's a relief. Hello again. Why, well, you're not being a bitch? Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. Hey, um, what sacrifice? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin, they might defeat Sin. Yuni could... But then she... Yuni will die, you know? You know, don't you? Apparently not. Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? Nope. With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Yuni too, you know? Isn't she like a sister to you? I thought you were family. 
Why don't you do something, Waka? Don't you think we tried to stop her? She follows her heart. Luna, she knew what she was doing when she chose to become a summoner. To face sin, yeah? You knew. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves. Just so the rest of spirit can be happy, right? fear of sin, you know that. A world without sin. That is the dream of all Yevon's children. And we will use that power even if it means our lives. Yeah, Tyus is whining in this part. It's kind of annoying, at least to me. And I've been telling Yuna, let's go to Xanarkin together. Let's beat Sin. I told her all the things. We could, we could. And all along, the whole time, I didn't know anything. Ugh. But Yuna, she... She... She smiled. The theme playing here is fucking good. Really fucking good. Good stuff. Hey, watch. Hey. You got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm hmm. I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling. When I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. Yeah, thankfully they don't uh, make us relive that horrible laughing scene Jeremy again. <laughs> to be full of laughter. Just the parts before it and after it, I guess. I can't let her die. I'll find her! Okay. A nice amount of gill. An annoying cunt! An annoying cunt! I'm annoying! I just like being annoying! Wait a minute, go 
back. Oh wait, we can't go back. I think I'm I think I might have missed a treasure there. Oh well. If I did, I don't think it's anything too valuable. I got most of the valuable stuff. Go, go, go! Three minute moved! Reno, Reno! We reach one minute! Where's Yuna? I don't know how who put? I don't know how you made I said, where is she? Answer me! Answer me, damn you! What do you do when you find her, eh? I... I... I didn't know anything about what a summoner is... is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry! That's it? You're gonna tell her you're sorry? And then you just drag her to Zanakand and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace! No! Ah, words! Show me action! I'm telling you, she won't die! Boy! Don't forget those words, because if you do, I'm going to make you regret it. I won't. So you know where she is? Of course not. That's why we're going to look. Using this airship. Cool. Uh, airship? They done. They told the coup. Marine! Evil Maker 1000 years, Ujantia! Big win big. Forbidden Makina. Hey, go! Pina!
team do, kit? God won't dank. Fede ku ipwit makina. Ekto lipa piam da. We ka. Hey, look. Don't get so down. Boom! <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? <laughs> you can cram your happy festival, you big meanie! <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, in my original... In my original Let's Play of this game, I actually did, like, a little bit of editing on that part. And I put, like, a donkey face in front of Waka, and I added, like, jackass sound effects and stuff. I'm not gonna do that this time around, but if you want to see that... Watch this part of the game in my original Let's Play. It's actually, oh, well, hopefully it's pretty funny. I'm okay. I'm fine. Really. <laughs> Why didn't I just shut my big mouth? <laughs> Me and my big mouth. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for this episode of Final Fantasy X Remaster. In the next episode, we're going to start our search for Yuna. This is Veteran Owen 21. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.